Welcome back to MakeMyAssignments.com. We have been discussing the law of demand and the various factors that impact the demand of a good or service. Let's first understand the impact upon the demand of a good or service, because of a change in the income of the consumer. The income of a consumer directly impacts their buying capacity, allowing them to purchase a certain good or service of their choice, which is why any change in the income, whether an increase or decrease, leads to a change in the amount of good or service purchased by them, even while there is no change in the price of the good or service. Hence, when the income of a consumer increases, it implies an increase in the buying capacity of the consumer, leading them to spend more on a good or service, and consequently, increasing the overall demand of the good or service. On the other hand, when the income of a consumer decreases, it implies a decrease in the buying capacity of the consumer, leading them to spend less on a good or service, and consequently, decreasing the overall demand of the good or service. Talking about the effect caused upon the demand curve, an increase in the income of the consumers causes a rightward shift in the demand curve, indicating an increase in the overall demand of the good or service. On the other hand, a decrease in the income of the consumers will cause a leftward shift in the demand curve, indicating an overall decrease in the demand. Hence, the change in the income of a consumer creates a direct and positive relationship with the demand of the good or service, which means that an increase in the income causes an increase in the demand of the good and vice versa. Now. Let's understand the impact of a change in the population of a market or a change in the taste and preferences of the consumers, upon the demand of a good or service, while there is no change in the price of the good or service itself. The impact of change in the population or taste and preferences of the consumers upon the demand of a good or service, while its own price is kept constant, is similar to the change caused by the change in income of the consumers. That is there is a direct and positive relationship between a change in the population or taste and preferences of consumers and the demand of a good or service. Hence, when the population of a market increases, or there is a positive change in the taste and preferences of the consumers towards a good or service, while its own price is kept constant, the demand of such good or service increases. However, when the population of a market decreases, or there is a negative or unfavorable change in the taste and preferences of the consumers towards a good or service, while its own price is kept constant, the demand of such good or service decreases. Today we discussed another factor that impacts the demand of a good or service, other than its own price. Thank you for watching MakeMeAssignments.com